hi you guys welcome to the youtube channel this is my second video of today um excuse the bare face y'all get what y'all get because y'all get what y'all get okay um but the holy spirit wants to teach us something today those of us who are in training those of us who are learning the holy spirit wants to teach us something today so what has been placed on my heart let me see if i can sit this up like this what has been placed on my heart is how do you learn how to do something? Like, how do you learn how to do something? If you know how to drive, how did you learn how to drive? If you know how to, it, when you was a baby and you started walking, how did you learn how to walk? When you learned how to cook, how did you learn how to cook? Like, how do you know how to cook? What did you do to learn how to cook? When you, um... When you needed to pass a test, what did you do? What did you do to pass that test? What did you do? So the Holy Spirit actually wants to teach us something. And Holy, the Holy Spirit is just so, so good. But the answer to all those questions is you have to practice, okay? You have to keep trying and keep trying and keep trying again. So with walking with God and walking with Jesus, it can seem like a lot. It can, when, especially when you first begin it, it can seem like this is a lot. This is a whole, whole lot, Lord. Like I, I'm barely understanding what the scriptures are talking about. I'm trying to grasp everything that I can grasp as much as I can. Like, you know, Lord, I'm really, really trying, but this is hard. Like a lot of people don't talk about how hard it is, especially if you're not like in a church or surrounded by a bunch of people who is doing the same thing. People don't talk about how hard it is to like for you to actually sit down by yourself and try to read the Bible and you don't even understand like what is saying and how to interpret it and how to use it uh, um how to use it you know pertaining to your life a bunch of a lot of nobody talks about that like as far as the people that's like solo like really really solo like out here on their own but still you know striving to walk with the lord still striving to read the word still striving to study the scriptures but you don't even know how and you don't have all these resources so First things first, I want to encourage you to find other people on YouTube. If you're solo and God has you separated or he has you isolated, I want to encourage you to find um, other mentors on YouTube who speak about, you know, the word of God, how to read the word of God. Okay, sorry, you guys. I had got interrupted by my children. YouTube. Use YouTube to your advantage. So many people, I've came across so many videos that has really, really helped me. And the Lord will use, the Lord knows if you're in isolation. He knows if you got a lot of people around you or not. He knows if, um if you know he knows exactly what you need okay so he'll have people on youtube who are able to assist you in exactly what it is that you need um secondly i got interrupted again y'all so you want to find you a mentor on uh youtube find you you know somebody that you know is you you able to learn from them find you some body on youtube secondly what you want to do is you want to not give up okay when i was reading the word of god like i literally nobody taught me how to read the bible nobody ever taught me how to read the bible i think my first time like really trying to read the bible i bought me a bible i believe i was 24 years old i'm 25 now nobody taught me how to read the bible i try over and over and over again to try to read the bible and when i say like I was trying to find my flow and find my pace that I could get on with God. And, you know, it just wasn't making sense. Like I would start and then I would stop and then I would start and then I would stop. And I'm like, Lord, I'm see, I'm trying to seek you, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't making sense to me. Like it just wasn't making sense. And if you know, then, you know, like when you first start out reading the Bible, it doesn't make sense at all. And it just doesn't make sense. But my encouragement here is for you to keep going, even if it don't make sense, even if one minute you in this chapter, say, for instance, one minute you in Job, then the next minute you in Matthew, then the next minute you in Psalms, then the next minute you in um, Ezekiel, like 
and it just ain't making sense like that's fine still keep going still keep grabbing them scriptures whatever you feel like resident whatever you feel like um whatever you feel like works best for you or even but you might feel like it ain't working so that's the whole other thing like even if you feel like it's not working do not go off of your feelings oh my goodness that's a whole nother message that i need the lord to continue teaching me not to go off of my feelings because them feelings they lie them feelings that you feel them feelings they be lying okay but yes you guys i had to finish making this video the next day um so that is what i am doing but um this video is basically for beginners who are just starting out so when you're first starting to read the bible you may feel like it's not making sense to you whatsoever but what i just wanted to encourage you guys to do is to keep going even if it's not making sense to your brain like continue to still practice and continue to still try uh strive to read the bible because see a lot of things um with god does not make sense to us whatsoever so it may be like lord i'm doing this over and over and over again it's not making any sense to me but the whole time it's making a lot of sense to god and that's the will that he has for your life so just because you may feel like okay i'm trying this and it's not working that does not mean give up i want to encourage y'all to keep going because when you do keep going because when you do keep going it will allow um, for you to grow and develop over time so usually we want results instantly or we want results the same day or the next day or the next week but what we have to stop and realize is god is always working on us so we do have to understand that it takes patience there is a process and over time we will then see the growth over time we will then see the fruit so i just wanted to encourage you guys to keep going to keep striving and i hope you all have a blessed day bye